Hi everybody, my name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. We're the Yahoo in the Tour Yard. We're the Yahoo in the Tour YouTube channel. Wow, spit that out, son. Are you alright? Maybe yeah. we should try that again. Alright, we are the Yahoo in the Torah YouTube channel, and we thank you guys very, very much for joining us. We are doing the laws, statutes, and commands of Messiah Yahushua, and we are back. We're back into John, and we had a little, uh, what? Detour. 24-day hiatus that we um, disappeared because we had to get caught up on a lot of other stuff. Gentlemen, how you doing? Good, good. A couple of you look ragged. A couple of you look, uh, you guys smell like fire. What's wrong with you? No, uh, we put on fire today. Yes, yeah. So yesterday, um, Jaden and I were burning uh, some boxes, and, um, and I guess I should preface this by saying that first and foremost is... Um, not only am I a Boy Scout, but I am also an Eagle Scout. And so that should give me some sort of, uh, um, I don't know, maybe some, I would say credibility, but after yesterday, I don't know if I have credibility on the fire side of it. We're burning a couple boxes and um, we took our eye off of it for probably two minutes and we looked back outside and it had flamed way up and it went crazy. And it burned off, it burned our land, it went everywhere. So we had probably, what, two hours of running back and forth, but two and a half hours maybe? I don't know how long we had. Um, with buckets, water hoses, um, people screaming, mom mom trying to keep the dogs at bay. Um, it was a very hectic moment. We, um, we saved the house, we saved everything that was... Um, <laughs> that we loved more than anything, um, the things that we stay with. But, you know, in third world countries or in, in where we're at, the houses are made out of rocks. And so the, ro the house wasn't really in danger. But we had other stuff that was out there and it was it took off like wildfire. And down here, it's it's the middle of summer. Not only is it the middle of summer, it is um, it's windy. And so there is massive winds. And when we started this, the wind wasn't bad. When we got done, the wind had taken up and we had no idea where it was going to go. Um, it was wild. I'm going to do another video a little bit later today. I'm going to take, I'm just going to show you guys some, some of the miracles and some of the stuff that we, uh, that we experienced yesterday because without a shadow of a doubt, there was supernatural help. And, um, we were, I was praying for a rain cloud and, and right above my head, a big rain cloud came, but never, ever rained. Eli was praying for rain. Um, Nicole was praying that the fire would be put out towards the back of our fence because when it ran across the fence, it was going to run off and burn all our chicken stuff down and everything like that. I think, uh, I don't remember who else was praying. What were you praying for, Jade? Uh, that it wouldn't go up to the chicken coop. That it wouldn't get to the chicken coop. Kate, were your prayers? Were you were praying out there? Uh, yeah, I was praying for like, it just basically so like stop it, rain would come down or that, uh, it would just like disperse. Yeah, and, um, it wasn't exactly completely dry, but it wasn't exactly not flammable. And um, it definitely ran away. It was a it was a very interesting test for our house. I think we all came through mostly with flying colors, and um, it was very wild. But it was um, I don't know. Boss clan always gets into a lot of trouble. We always end up with a lot of things, and the messengers of Yah are always having to save us because we get us into a lot of problems. And so um, I guess it's another testimony of the power of our Creator that He is able to save. That He is able to. Um, make things uh, happen and fires to go out. And I will show you guys the miracle a little bit later in this video, um, or not in this video, but in a one little later day, where there was just straight grass. We didn't put any water on it. It should have burned up. It should have run back to our chicken house, and it just stopped. It was very, very odd. Yeah, I, I've never seen anything quite like this, and there's no explanation other than the hand of our Creator somehow had put this fire out inside of dry grass. So, gentlemen, you guys all survive? Yeah. Yep. Everyone going to make it to the next day? Yeah. Everyone good? Okay. It's always those little tests that um, define us as a family and define us as, where are we, uh, are we loyal to our creator through all of it, everything. Okay. Month 10 is where we are at. We are in month 10. It is a, uh, what is it? Is today a Tuesday? Yeah. It's a Tuesday. It's the 17th day on the Gregorian satanic calendar. It's the 24th day on our creator's calendar. And again, it is the 10th month and we are cruising through this week and hopefully we can make it through this week without any more madness going on. All right. Um, anyone else have anything? Uh, fire? Th thoughts on fire, Jade? Anyone? I don't think I got anything besides uh, we 
did get it out. So. We did get it out. Well, we kind of got Parts it out. Of it. We got out what saved us, but then it, it did run off through the jungle a little bit. But it is a big green jungle, and it looks like it, most of it went out. So um, we fought and fought and fought, and that was what we did. Eli, thoughts on it? Uh, let's not do it again. Let's not let's not burn the burn the jungle down again. Yep. Good call. Okay, here we go. So now we are doing this, guys. We are on the last chapter of this. For those who do not know this particular series that we are doing, we went through about a year ago, um, over a year ago, we started off with the Law, Statutes, and Commands of our Creator. And we ended up um, at, at the beginning, ending up with about 174 commands that we can keep today. We've now shifted that down to 150 something, right? 100, 156 that we can keep today. And we have another set of laws that are in the land laws that uh, we can keep today as well. But you would be picking up rocks and killing evil people and that would probably end up not where we would want to be. So what we are doing is we are identifying any other laws, statutes, and commands that our Messiah had said that not not that are different than the Torah, that complement the Torah, things that we need to know. And so we know how many laws, statutes, and commands our Creator has, and now we're looking at the amount of laws His Son has. That And there are different laws that definitely complement the Torah overall and things that are it just fine-tunes our walk with it. All right, so let's begin. This is one of my favorite um, books of all times is, is this, Yochanan. Okay, here we go. We have the Sefer at the top, guys. We have the Yahuwah's Scriptures at the bottom. And the Yahuwah's Scriptures are free, available on our website, yahuwahandthetorah.net, Y-H-W-H-A-N-D-T-H-E-T-O-R-A-H.net. And there's a download section. All right, so sorry, guys. We just ran out of space here. Again, we have this duct tape and rubber bands um, tablet we try to do this on. It is really old, really slow. It doesn't have much space. So it's always a struggle. Okay, so continuing on, um, the law, statutes, and commands. We believe that the law, statutes, and commands of our creator are good for all times. They, te they have passed the test of time. They have passed the test of everything. And it is what we govern our life by. And it is what we encourage everybody to govern your life by. And it will bless your lives, it will enhance your lives, it will keep you safe, and it will keep you sound. All right, let's continue on. John 1, Yochanan 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Elohim, and the Word was Elohim. Okay, we need to discuss this very first thing, because people, this is where the people believe that Messiah Yahushua and um, our Creator Yahuwah are the same person. Now guys, Messiah Yahushua is who you guys would call as Jesus the Christ. There were no J's in Hebrew. So it's like Joshua with a Y, Yahushua. And so in the beginning, now does this say Messiah Yahushua right here is Elohim? No. What did this just say? That the word was Elohim. And what is the word of our creator? The Torah. The Torah. Because the Torah is what he wants to follow. It's what is on his heart. What else would be the word of our creator other than things that we know of as the Torah? Uh, it would be possibly the prophets. Everything that he does, right? Everything that he says, things that that we he we know from the targums that the that the law, statutes, and commands, the word of crea our creator, was invented two thousand years before creation was ever here, and so the word is the word. It's it's what our creator has said. It is how it is. Okay, verse two. He was in the beginning with Elohim. Okay, now. It just talks about he. It just jumped over to he was in the beginning with Elohim. Who is he and what is it talking about? We're talking about now we're talking about Yahushua. Now we're talking about him being with Yahuwah. Right. And how was he in the beginning with Elohim? Because he is his son. It is his son. He had a relationship with him. Yeah, and he was there prior to creation. And a lot of people, I guess, don't understand that. Three. All came to be through him. And without him, not even one came to be that came to be. In him was Kai, and the Kai was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man, man sent from Elohim, whose name was Yochanan. This one came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all might believe through him. He was not that light, but that he might bear witness of that light. He was the true light, which enlightens every man. Coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came to be through him. And the world did not know him. He came to his own. And his own did not receive him. 
Okay, what are we talking about, gentlemen? What are we talking about? First of all, John, who are you, it talks about Yochanan. What, 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 is it, what did this just say? Break this down for me. So basically it says there is somebody who is teaching, but he's not the teacher. He is someone there to talk about the teacher that's coming. Yeah. And so it says that his people did not receive him. In his country, people, his own people, refused to accept him. Yep. Okay. 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave the authority to become the children of Elohim, to those believing in his name. What are we talking about here? Who, who's believing in whose name? What are we talking about here? This, see, this was where confusion could hit. First of all, it talks about the word at the very first. Then it talks about Yochanan. And then it talks about our, our Messiah. Then it talks about John, Yochanan. And then it talks about our Messiah as, again, as this, right? It says, um, but as many as received him, to them he gave the authority to become the children of Elohim, to Elohim, to those believing in his name, who were not, who were born, not of blood, nor of the desire of flesh, nor of the desire of man, but of Elohim. And the word became flesh and pitched his tent among us. And we saw his esteem, esteem as of an only brought forth of a father, complete in favor and truth. Okay, so we have between John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14, people believe this is where they, they set their doctrine. One of the places they set their doctrine, that Messiah and our creator are the same individual. What did 114 say? Someone break this down. Saying the word became flesh. The word became flesh because it became, because the Torah became manifest through Yahushua. That's how it was. Yahushua was the living, breathing Torah. If Messiah Yahushua had come down and had been a filthy sinner, would the word have become flesh? No, no that, there would no, be no Torah in him. Yeah, there would be no Torah in him. And so to become flesh, we have to do the will of our creator. And that is that is also, I mean, the word could become flesh amongst us as well. I'm not saying anywhere that we're perfect or that we could ever achieve perfection or that we could even strive to, to get to the, the first letter of that word. But when we walk, as our creator has said to walk, that is what the whole point of this is to become. And our Messiah came down and he walked in human form the same trials and tribulations and the same kind of stuff that we all have as people, he did it and he rocked it and he made it through and he did not fall, he did not falter, he did not sin and he became that perfect Melchizedek priest that we needed and a, a perfect witness, a, a sacrifice as well. Okay, 15. Yochanan bore witness of him and cried out saying, this is he of whom I said, he who comes after me has become before me. Because he was before me. And out of his completeness, we all received and favor upon favor. For the Torah was given through Moshe. The favor and the truth came through Yahushua HaMashiach. Mishiach. No one has ever seen Yahuwah. The only brought forth Ben, who is, who is in the, the and bosom of the Father, he declared. Is that what you said? Right for you guys have said? Read, read 18 in your guys's. Okay. And no one has ever seen Yahuwah, the only brought forth Ben, who is in the bosom of the Father. There's an extra and in there. You guys failed. That means I get uh, rewarded. Who is in the and bosom of the Father? Yeah, there's no and there. Nah, you guys jacked that up. Uh oh, Jade and Kate or Jade and Eli just went under the bus. Oh, Jade was reading out of this. I was reading out of the scriptures. Oh, okay, yeah. So maybe you should flip it around the other way. Yeah, that's definitely a typo there. Okay. So we are, uh, you are seeing struggles of this family here uh, as we see this. Okay, what does this mean? No one has ever seen Yahuwah. The, it, but then it says, the only brought forth Ben, and Ben is son, who is in the bosom of the father, he declared. Does this say that that our Messiah and his dad are the same being right here? No, it says, no. It says they're two of them. Obviously, it's two of them. It says they've seen each other. Those two of, these are the only two that have seen each other. Right? Yeah. Like they, Yahushua is the only one that has seen the father. And if he was the same person, it would be a little weird that he's think, like you think, himself. Do you think Yah has a wife, and do you think Messiah Yahushua has a mom? 
I don't. I don't know. I've questioned that, but I don't know because never really talks about it. So maybe say anything like that. I mean, we know yeah. Yehoshua has a earthly mom, Mary. Do we think that maybe our Creator existed all by Himself and then only created His Son? Or and I feel like I feel like He would have had like a helpmate as well. Like He would have He would have created Himself like kind of like Eve because he, he knew Adam needed someone to help him, so maybe He had someone. The Ruha Kadesh being the um, supposed the wife, the wife or it, it could be. I mean, we, we don't know. We know it is a spirit of Yah. We don't know anything about this. And so we're only speculating here because it, it's, you know, if, uh, you know, one thing we know about angels is the angels didn't marry and angels didn't because they're eternal, right? That would probably fall to the same as our creator. That he would. He made us in his image and he allowed us to marry. So. I don't... He allowed us to marry, but he also explained that to the angels that we are allowed to marry because we are carnal beasts, that we die. And so the angels were never meant to do what they did. And, um, and so it's interesting. Interesting. I don't, I don't have answers to that. Okay, 19. Now, this was the witness of Yochanan when the Yahudim sent from Jerusalem Kohenan and Luites to ask him, who are you? And he confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not Hamashiach. And they asked him, who then are you? Eliyahu? So he said, I am not. Are you the Nabi? And he answered, no. Therefore they said to him, who are you? So that we give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am a voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of Yahuwah. As the Nabi, Yeshiyahu said. And those sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him saying, why then do you immerse immerse if you are not Hamashiach, nor Eliyahu, nor the Nabi. Why are, why are these people questioning him? They want to know why he's teaching uh, who he is. Did they, did they baptize prior to this that we know of? Um, I don't I don't so. recall anywhere in the Old Testament anywhere they baptized. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this was a, a new feature that they threw out there. But this was different, it's right? It's obviously a known thing, though. If he's come out doing it, people are being baptized, and they're like, are you baptizing? It's obviously a, a something they know about, something that has happened before. What, or, or I mean, they, they were asking, why you, why, why then do you immerse if you're not Hamashiach or Eliyahu? So, yeah, maybe, maybe they are familiar with this or something. I don't, I don't know. 26. Yochanan answered them, saying, I immerse in water, but in your midst stands one whom you do not know. The one coming after me, who has become before me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to loosen. This took place in Beth Abara, beyond the Ardeen, where Yochanan was immersing. On the next day, Yochanan saw Yahushua coming toward him and said, See, the Lamb of Yahuwah, who takes and we away the sin of the world. I think they just messed this up. Uh, I think the boys just jacked this whole reading up. See the Lamb of Yahuwah who takes and we away the sin of the world? Who takes away the sin of the world. Yeah, wow. You guys slaughtered this. If, if we hadn't burned down the countryside and you guys weren't uh, fatigued, I would probably bust you a little more on this than this. Which okay, is that? 29. Two, two things. Boo. Okay, 30. Okay, let's continue on. This is what Yochanan said. This is what it actually should say. We're, we're breaking this because our translation is not so good here. Okay, see the Lamb of Yahuwah who takes away the sin of the world. Um, that, is a, that is something that, I mean, we have talked about for a very long time. I mean, you guys have spoken memory verses about this, things of this nature. Um, and uh, are you looking over there? Nicole's like looking I'm at this translation. It. Okay. Yeah, and so um, this is the Lamb of Yahuwah who takes away the sin of the world. What does that mean, Jade? That means that we have forgive that he's going to come and give us repentance, and that he's going to be able to cleanse us of our sins. Yep. Because sin isn't going to disappear. People are still going to sin, but we're going to have a chance for to get, clean ourselves of that sin. Pig, it will still be unclean when this is over. Okay, this is he of whom I said, after me comes a man who has become who has become before me, for he was before me. Is that one right? I'm like all sketchy now about this whole thing. There is he of whom I said, after me comes a man who has come before. For me, who has become before me? Yeah, who has become before? For me. he was before me. Okay, so this is why we got to get this translation right, guys. As as a family, we've got to slow this down. Eli, Jade, as a things, can we slow this down maybe a little on this? 
Yes? Yeah. Oh, all right, great. Thank you. I just want to get this because I don't like reading it like this. I hate these translations. When it's bad translation, this is why we got out of the suffer because of this. Okay, 31. And I did not know him, but that he might be revealed to Yisrael. Therefore, I came immersing in water. And Yochanan bore witness saying, I have seen the Ruha coming down from the Shamaim like a dove and remain on him. And I did not know him. But he who sent me to immerse in water said to me, Upon whom you see the Ruha coming down and remaining on him, this is he who immerses in the Ruha HaKadesh. And I have seen and have witnessed that this is the bin of Yahuwah. So this is a witness right here. This is what John says. If you think that our creator and his son are the exact same person, you have a witness of John right here. And he says, this is the son of Yahuwah. This is not Yahuwah. Our Hasatan did not kill the creator of the world. Okay, 35. And again, the following day, Yochanan was standing with two of his Talmudian. And looking at Yahushua walking, he said, See the Lamb of Yahuwah. And the two Talmudian heard him speaking, and they followed Yahushua. And Yahushua turning and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? And they said to him, Rabbi, which translated means, Teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They went and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. Now it was about the 10th hour. Andre, the brother of Shimon, of Ke on Shimon Kepha, was one of the two who heard from Yochanan and followed him. So here we think that uh, these two were kind of uh, what Yochanan's tell me and John the Baptist tell me. Mm, Andre? Yeah, Andre and Peter here. Okay. Who who was that? Who thought this? We, uh, yeah, and I when we were reading it last night. Okay, because we because they they followed him, so there might have been his time and then when they saw Yehoshua, they joined him. Yeah, okay. that's that's my that might be another reason why they left the boat and came with him. It's like hey, it's the Messiah. That could be. Okay, um, forty one. First, he found his brother Shimon and said to him, "We have found Hamashiach," which interpreted is the Anointed, and he brought him to Yahushua. And looking at him, Yahushua said. You are Shimon, the son of Yonah. You shall be called Kepha, which translated is a stone. On the following day, Yahushua wanted to go to Galil, and he found Philippos and said to him, Follow me. And Philippos was from Bet Saida, the city of Andrei in Kepha. Philippos found, found Nathaniel. Philippos found Nathaniel and said to him, We have found him whom Moshe wrote of in the Torah and, and the Nebian. Yahushua of Nazareth, the son of Yosheth. And Nathanael said to him, Is it possible for any good to come out of Nazareth? Philippos said, said to him. Is there a comma that Philippos said to him? Come and see. Yeah, Philippos said to him, comma. Philippos said to, comma, him. No, it's him. Okay, there's another him. comma. Okay, so yeah, this is, this is a slaughter, guys. Okay, Philippos said to, comma, him, comma, come and see. Come on, guys. Yahushua saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, See, truly a Yisraelite in whom, there is, in whom is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, From where do you know me? Yahushua answered and said to him, Before Philippos called you, when you were under the tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the bin of Elohim. You are the sovereign of Yisrael. So there's a second witness in this chapter, right? Nathaniel is a second witness. You are the son of Elohim. You are not Elohim. They would all be liars, right? The witness would be liars. 50. Yahushua answered and said to him, Because I saw, I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? Greater than that you shall see. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, from now on you shall see the Shamaim opened and the messengers of Elohim ascending and descending upon the bin of Adam. So again, he says the son of Adam the, the, is, is what it is. All right, everybody. Um, thank you very, very much for hanging out with us as we proofread this and try to get the word of Yah completely good. And even though it's a little embarrassing that we have these mistakes, we are the ones that are putting this all together. And so there are a tremendous amount of mistakes before we ever get this. And now we are... Bringing this back to life, which is why we're always looking for proofreaders. We are always looking for people who can help us read this stuff. And if you have a Hallelujah Scriptures 
and want to proofread any of our stuff that we have and want to send us an email and check off that you've read a chapter, anywhere that you guys go in here, if you guys want to go to our, our website and if you go to online scriptures at the top and you go down into online scriptures, if anybody wants to do some proofreading and help out this project, you guys are free to do that. Any of this in Bereshith, Genesis, Luke, or John. Um, John, we're going to be posting up um, hopefully a, a lot today so we can start getting through this. But um, we want to get this right and we want to get this out there for everybody so it is free. Okay, with that, uh, I think we're going to bid you guys farewell. Thank you guys very, very much for hanging out with us. We thank you for being part of our little Ecclesia here. And we will see you again later. All right, All right. Shalom. Shalom.